Hey guys, it's Aaron. We're working our way through this dynamic component video and I want to move on by adding the posts. So I want to put the posts in there and evenly space them. Now, I don't want to just set a spacing. I don't want to say there's just one every 10 feet. I want to say that the columns are going to be evenly spaced along the span at a spacing no greater than 10 feet. So we're going to figure out how to do that right now. Okay, so first thing I want to mention is when working with dynamic components, how to select it. If I pick on the outer part of this component, this is the outermost shell of this component, you can see what shows up in the component attributes. Here's the information for the fence, the outermost component, and below that, set in slightly, are the beams and the post. This is correct. As SketchUp users, we do have a tendency to want to burrow into something when we work on it, so I want to double click and then pick this if I want to set the post properties, which is okay, but look what happens. By doing this, by coming in here, I lose my parent component information. So if I wanted to reference the length of the fence, I couldn't do that now because I no longer have it on the screen. So when working in a dynamic component, unless you're getting into some serious nesting, what you want to do is pick the outermost shell of the component and work from that view. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna come in here and we're gonna figure out how to put one of these posts not more than 120 inches apart across the length of the span of the fence. I, I'm gonna make this bigger. I'm gonna go to scale. I'm gonna stretch this fence out to some odd dimension. There we go, nice, nice not round number, not divisible by 10 feet. All right, so there's a couple things we're gonna do now. First thing, I actually don't need this open. I can get, give me some real estate. All right, first thing we're gonna do is figure out how many copies we need. So I'm gonna hit plus, I'm gonna pick copies. And the copies are going to be equal to the span of the fence divided by 120. Boom. That tells me I need four. So I need one here, 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 and here to break these spans into less than 120. Now you notice I said here, here, and here. I did not say one out here on the end. This is just like splitting a line with divide. It's going to break that into four spans. If I was worried about having another column at the end, I would want to make sure to account for one extra. So I would want to do something like come in here and type plus one. That would give me five rather than four. The reason I'm not doing that is because this fence is going to connect to another length of fence and put it in a rectangle kind of thing. And the start column of this one is going to be the end column of the next piece of fence. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, maybe we may afterwards come back and look at the alternative versions we could make and we'll touch on this some more on how I could have set up that so I have an extra piece on there. Right now though, we're gonna add another attribute here. So right now I have a spacing somewhere. I don't know what that spacing is. Um, so I'm gonna hit plus and I'm gonna calculate spacing. What I could do is anytime I needed to reference the spacing, I could type fence length x divided by 120 and it would tell me, you know, it could figure out what that, that length is. What I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna create a couple of user-defined values right here. One for the actual number of posts I need and the other for the exact spacing that I want. Why don't I just use copies as the number of posts I want? So here's the thing with copies. This says four, but you know what it actually is? It's actually the fence length divided by 120. That's not an even four. It's four point something, something, something. So it knows the number of copies is actually four point remaining values, but it's rounding it for my benefit to say four. So what I wanna do is I wanna create a new attribute, and this is I'm gonna call this count. This is user defined. I'm going to type count and I'm going to say this is equal to this length divided by 120. And look what I come up with 4.1037, lots of numbers. This is the value that's actually being contained right here. The reason I point this out is what I'm going to do next, I need an even number four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to force this count to be even by coming in here and typing int and then putting my calculation in brackets. When I do that, then I get an even four, and this is exactly four. This is not extra, this is exactly four. So when I'm gonna come in now and I calculate my spacing, I 
I can say equals this length right here divided by count. And that gives me 123. See, now here's my problem here. This I do need to account for my one extra piece. So I'm going to come into my count plus one. There we go. That's my final spacing. So my count is actually five columns, three, four, five, ends up with this less than 120 inch span. All right, so let's put this all together and put our columns in. So I'm going to add one last attribute, and this is my X position. I'm going to make this equal to copy, the word copy, I'm not picking a value from anywhere, times, and for times I'm using the asterisk key, the shift eight, my count, no, my spacing, sorry, equals copy times spacing enter. And what that gives us then is one right here at the beginning and then evenly spaced across there, leaving that last one off. The last one is intentionally left off because we don't want that extra piece. And again, I'll, I'll, let me illustrate why right now. If I was to take this, this component, grab it, make a copy, stick it down right here, and then rotate it, this column, this post, would be my end for that next one. So that's why we did not add an extra one into our copies but we did include it into the count. So that gets me evenly spaced columns. And again, I can grab this right here. Watch this, scale, pull this to something bigger, release it, and look what happens. Bigger, it didn't go bigger enough. There we go, see that jump in columns? And each of those is gonna be different now too. So if I come over here and pick this one, and see I have a spacing of 98 inches over here it's 109 again that is if the requirement is that it is less than a maximum spacing but still evenly spaced I know we got mathy there and and you guys know I try not to do that but it is kind of cool when you set that stuff up how you can just kind of grab handles and have it automatically update Next time, we'll come in and we will make something that is actually evenly spaced, and that is to put in those pickets on the outside and have them exactly the same spacing the whole way along the ed outside edge of that fence. Did you like that? If so, click like down below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. We create several videos every single week, and you'll be notified of each and every one of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, though, please leave a comment down below. At this point, most if not all of our content is created from comments from viewers like you. This right here, Dynamic Components, is something that's been requested several times in the comments. We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.